You have to reason about the facts of science, uh, ask whether you believe that uh, the suggestion that um, you know, random selection um, is, is sufficient, and also most evolutionary biologists today don't believe that. Don't believe uh, what? They don't believe in uh, uh, random, so this crude fundamentalist version of random selection that you propose. I do not propose it, and um, I strongly deny that, that evolution is random selection. Good. Evolution is non-random selection. Oh, non so there's a, there's a purpose to it, is there? No. <laughs> could, could, could you explain what non-random means? Yes, of course I could, as my life's work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's such a hard thing to say, but keep it brief. <laughs> There's random genetic variation and non-random survival and, and a non-random reproduction, which is why, as the generations go by, animals get better at doing what they do. That is quintessentially non-random. It does not mean there's a purpose in the sense of a human purpose, in the sense of a guiding principle which is thought up in advance. With hindsight, you can say something like a bird's wing looks as though it has a purpose. A human eye looks as though it has a purpose, but it has come about through the process of non-random natural selection. There is no purpose in the human sense. There's a kind of pseudo-purpose, but it's not a purpose in the human sense of conscious uh, guiding. But above all, I must stress that Darwinian evolution is a non-random process. One of the biggest misunderstandings, which I'm sorry to say the Cardinal's just perpetrated, uh, is, that there is, some, is that evolution is a random process. It is the opposite of a random process.